survived the Jackery battery charger. Carter bits be tripping. Going to be going through some of the stuff that I'm gonna be taking out with me, getting the 6900 XT. You guys probably saw all my 6800. I'm gonna get out there a few days early so that I have my place in line and I can still operate and do some work from there and have the right sets of stuff with me. I made a punch list of the things that I wanted to have with me this next round if I'm gonna be staying out there because this is the only way you can get this newer hardware with any kind of level of confidence provided they ship it to the store on the day of it. One of the things I found myself after about 18 hours out there is my battery pack that was charging my phone and a few of the other things went down pretty quick when you're using it constantly because what else do you do when you're sitting out there for 18 hours of which you're probably only going to sleep for about four hours. As you watch a lot of things on your phone, you don't really, unless you're with your friends, you're not really talking to anybody. You're staying by yourself, COVID restriction stuff now. So you can consume a lot of media during that time, which is using on your battery. And most things don't last a long time. More constructive box here. What's in here and then, but here we go. We got a car plug here, which we may have to use. Your wall outlet plug. Let's get this guy out here. There is the unit. Let's try that again. There we go. And it's about 33% full. So this shows the input and output wattage. Let that focus in on there. So I'm gonna take this outside right now and I'm gonna see how it works with the solar panel. Got it outside, moved the trailer to where we would have it kind of in the sunlight and an angle for I'd have a little kind of working table here. So this is the Solar Saga 60. So this is 68 watts. 22 volt input. This is Jackery's smaller solar panel. Now this has a magnetic connection to keep that together. You open that up and there's the solar panels. You guys can see the panel design there. I do like these auto snap magnetic holder. Allows you to kind of carry it around pretty easily. This flips out to give you, uh, when you're setting it up, kind of a little stand. You have another one on the other side right here. And inside this little pouch here gives you your direct connection to the solar panel and how you're gonna take the input into the Jackery Explorer here. So this will feed that once I plug it in. Now, one thing I wanna make sure is kinda highlighted here. There is a USB-C and a typical USB-A on here. USB-A at five volt, 2.4 amp. And then we got a five volt, three amp on the USB-C. Now I already have the USB-C connected with the iPhone connector, which, once we open this up, you'll be able to see that, and you know, we'll pull this out here. We can have this absorbing what it can. And I will go get my phone. Got the phone connected here. And with the phone plugged in, it is showing that it is charging. So we can see that just directly connected. So you don't even need this guy. You could actually just get this panel here and then have two devices plugged in and charged directly off of solar. So solar is powering up the phone. I will do a test with this and give you guys the results of it in a future video once we have, you know, I go through the 6900 experience setting to try to get that. But I will do a video if you guys are interested and let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see how long that it, does it take to charge an iPhone using just this as the only source of power. So now let's get this 240 hooked up. All right, we got that pitched at a small little angle so we can get the look of it here. Now we're showing 33. Let's plug this guy in and let's see what it jumps to. So right now input is showing about 16 watts of input, input wattage. Now let's see by unplugging the phone, we get a jump up and we do. So now your input is showing 23 for the phone being plugged into it. So it is, you know, sharing the power source there. So 21, let's plug the phone back in. Phone's showing there. 14 watts with the phone plugged in. Pretty good uh, direct sunlight, but it is kind of going down. So it's not, you know, it's not high in the sky. It's, we're about a couple hours from sundown. 
So pretty cool, this is a quick cursory test just to make sure everything was working. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a full plug-in and we'll go into there and see the differences between like plugged into a vehicle, using the vehicle charger and then the wall outlet just to give you guys an idea of the input and then how this thing charges itself. All right, now we're in the car and the input with this in the same way that I'm gonna do it when I'm out there waiting for this card. So we're gonna turn on the car. Set this little guy right there. And flip this little guy up. Plug that in. Let's put this on the display there. Alright, we got the input voltage in. Now we can see that it's pushing 45 watts to this on a chart. So that's with the 12 volt. So I am curious that if this will draw down on the power, that right now it's an input of 45 watts. If I plug my phone in, pull my phone out there, let's plug my phone in through USB and see if it drops that input voltage, if it like has to share that 45 or if it just pulls more from the actual car 12 volt slot. I'm actually genuinely curious if, to see if that's the way that works. So we're gonna plug this guy in here. And I got lots of, don't mind these other connections. I got different USB-Cs and connections here. So we're gonna plug the phone in to this. So now the phone is not charging. We have to turn this on to activate it. And now it is charging. It works, it just takes it a second. So it's not real fast. Like it has like a little delay. And maybe that's just its logic doing its thing. But we can see it is actually draining 13 watts. It did not increase the total input. So I would assume that we have the 45, turn on the display here. We have the, let's see if the contrast focuses. All right, we have the 45 input and we have a 12 drain. So that'd be the input to the battery charging. I was not wanting to autofocus on that contrast. The the delta essentially would be the, the 32 watts is what the battery's getting. And my phone is getting the 12 watts to charge it. So it's a 12 watt charging through that slot, which is the five volt times 2.4 amps. Um, so it's right around that 12 uh, mark. So we got both things going. Obviously, if it's charging the phone at the same time, it's going to take longer for that battery to charge up. And the few minutes that we've been in here, we were able to get another percentage point on it. But there's there's the car charger. Next up, let's get the wall charger and see how this goes. So again, all this is pre-planning. So I'm making sure that I have an understanding of when I need to take breaks. Because uh, I mean, I'm going to be out there for a few days. So I'm going to try to plan my time accordingly with regards to charging and when when I need to have from a, a recharge standpoint to be able to still do my work when I'm out there and still be able to not um, help pass the time. Down on the test bench and we have the 60 watt adapt AC adapter plugged in 110 connection and this, this adapter says 60 watts. It might take it a little bit for it to warm up but the the five amp 60 watt right now is input is about 39 watts. So it's actually getting about five more watts, six more watts out of the car adapter on this. And I'll let this set because I'm gonna let it go all the way up to 100%. We're gonna charge this to full. And it's actually pulling about 43.8 watts input here, or this isn't displaying fully true of what it's really uh, putting out, but we're missing about three to four watts in there. There are little fans in here. I think there's fans in here. It looks like there's, yeah, there's a fan in there. Those are not spinning right now, but there's four watts going somewhere else. I got the phone plugged in, pulling about the same one. maybe one more watt on charging it right now. And we're at 39 and 13. So I'm gonna take the assumption that the total input is still 39 and the it, it's just passing 13 of the watts over to charge the phone, but my power draw should still be the same. Now, the way for me to verify that is, did this go up? And it didn't. So this stayed the same. So 43.8 is still the draw. So your 39 minus 
the 13, right, which would be 26, is what how much watts are to charge the battery. So the battery's gonna charge a little slower if you have something else plugged in, but we're gonna let this sit there and run, and I'll give you guys a, a more of an update when we start to actually go to up and use it for the camp out. But nice little, nice little device so far. Now, once that's fully charged, I'll do another just catch up review on how the drain of this will be with the laptop that I'm gonna bring with me out there. I'm gonna have a MacBook Pro. It's a newer i9. It's the around March 2019 laptop. I will see how that adapter works on the 110 connection here has a max of 200 and we'll see what the drain is on that and then again we'll we'll see what kind of put that we're putting out there that i'll be using that with the solar panel during the day so we'll it won't be charging the battery but it'll it'll bring the battery drain down less is the overall idea here so um yeah we'll see we'll see how this works so if you're wanting me to do the 110 don't worry that's coming uh we will test that with the laptop it's about 200 max 200 watt max so Anybody that's thinking we could actually try like a mining rig, I am tempted to do that. Let me know down option below. As you guys can remember, we did the 6800 uh, testing yesterday and this was pulling about 180 watts. So we would have been really close to that max there. But I could probably get it down to 140 if I don't push it up as high. And we'll see how long will a mining rig last on a, a battery like this. I think that would be kind of a cool video. Let me know if you guys want to see that in the description. Thanks again for this one. I know it's a little off topic content, but it's kind of on the topic content because it's getting a GPU. I don't know. You guys have figured out. Let me know. Peace.